The painter Thomas Cole is getting a lot of attention right now. He is the subject of a major exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and it's running through May 13th. Now, Cole's home and studio in Catskill, New York, and it's seeing a big surge when it comes to visitors. RFO executive producer Larry Epstein, he recently paid a visit, and Larry joins us now. Thanks, Rich. Cole worked there, he lived there, and he painted some of his most memorable works there. He did one of his most famous series here called The Voyage of Life, which is about the four stages of man, um, the human experience from birth to old age, and it's one of the most enduring series that he ever created. That's Betsy Jacks, executive director of the Thomas Cole National Historic Site. She's describing this four-part series, which traces the journey of life with all its peaks and valleys. That was Cole's most renowned work. But Cole is perhaps most famous for founding the Hudson River School, which included other painters Frederick Church, Jasper Cropsey, and more. Cole is also credited with bringing landscape painting over from Europe. So Thomas Cole brought the tradition of European landscape painting, which he had learned, and he brought that to this country and really just started a whole movement here wherein we now have this innate appreciation of our landscape as a national treasure. For inspiration, Cole used what was around him, the beautiful view of the Catskills that he saw from his porch and from his window. When you step onto Thomas Cole's porch, you instinctively understand what this artist is all about. Something about the light and that view and the harmonious integration of the house and the land. That includes works that captured the stunning surroundings he saw every single day from his house in Catskill. He also ventured throughout the Hudson Valley to paint the stunning scenery, including Lake Mohonk in New Paltz, and also Catterskill Falls in the eastern Catskill Mountains, stunning waterfalls that are still a tourist attraction to this day. Cole also visited Mount Holyoke in Massachusetts, where he painted this masterwork, the Oxbow. And now, 170 years after his death, Cole and his work is striking a chord. He was an immigrant, an environmentalist before that was even a thing, and he painted at a time when populism and nationalism were surging, thanks to President Andrew Jackson inhabiting the White House. Here's how the New York Times describes it. Today, populism is being strategically used as a divisive political force. Environmental regulations are being stripped away. In a time of walls and deportations, Cole's immigrant status, he became a naturalized United States citizen only after living here for 17 years, takes on new weight aspects of his conservatism begin to make sense. Because he came from England and he saw the Industrial Revolution happen there, he had a unique perspective when he came here, more so than the people who had grown up here. He saw the landscapes before industry moved in and knew what was going to happen. The Cole House is hosting an exhibit starting May 1st called Picturesque and Sublime, Thomas Cole's Transatlantic Inheritance. Details are right there on your screen, and it's also on the Cole website, thomascole.org. I'm going to check it out. Thank you, Larry. And Children of a Lesser God, you remember it? Play, then an Academy Award-winning movie. Well, now it is back on Broadway. But the question is, did John Simon like it, or does he think it is a lesser work? We'll have his review for you straight ahead. <laughs>